No, Dango! Come on, leave it. This way. This way. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Today, we are going to be talking about the real reason that your dog doesn't listen to you. Spoiler alert, it's not because they're stupid. So before I go on, I do want to mention that I'm going to have an article outlining this on my website if you guys want to look at that for a little refresher. All right. Let's go. So there's two real reasons that your dog may not be listening to you. And the first is that they don't understand what the heck you're saying. And the second is that the reward for the behavior is not high enough. So in a dog's world, body language is everything. They use body language to communicate with each other and with us. So a dog is going to pick up on body language a lot faster than they're going to understand a verbal cue. Of course, after a lot of repetition, a dog will understand a verbal cue as well, but it's, it's going to take a lot longer than using your body. Body language, a dog will learn a new behavior like... So if your dog isn't listening to you and is kind of being a little bit stubborn, it may just be that they don't understand what it is that you're asking. So you need to make it a lot more clear using your body. So an example of this would be when you're out on a walk and your dog is pulling towards something, instead of just telling it to leave that thing alone, you want to use your body in order to move it away from that object so that they understand what you're saying. Or uh, if you're asking your dog for a sit, instead of just saying sit repeatedly over and over and over again and your dog not responding, what you want to do is you want to pull your body upright so that your dog understands that motion. It'll be a lot more likely to sit in that case because it's picking up on your body language. The second reason that your dog may not be listening to you is that the reward isn't high enough, meaning that they've decided that the time and energy that it takes to do behavior is not worth the payoff that they get at the end. So if your dog is always doing a sit for you and it never gets a treat or a pet or even a good job, then it's not really motivated to do that behavior. You don't like working for free, so your dog doesn't either. So when you're teaching a dog a new trick, you need to reward every single time in the beginning so that it really instills inside your dog so that your dog understands that behavior. Eventually, once you've done it enough times, you can start to wean out those treats so that you only do it every once in a while, but you do need to up that motivation for your dog so that it wants to work for you. Also, using a really irresistible treat will help a lot in this case. Dogs are really smart and they love us. They want to work with us, but if they don't understand what we're saying and if they're not getting anything out of it, then they're not really gonna want to do what we're asking. They're gonna seem a little bit stubborn, but oftentimes that's not the case. So if you do these two things, then I can guarantee you, your dog will listen to you more times than not. 